So we have already done these ones in class, so we're going to move on to our ones down below. So I'm using partial quotients to divide. So let's check number four first. Well, six can go into nine one time, but since this is my tens place value, that's actually a ten. So now I have 90, and I need to take away six groups of 10, so I'm taking away 60. What I'm left with is that 30, and then I need to regroup that 30 over here. So now, 6 can go into 30 five times, because my basic math fact is 5 times 6. 5 times 6 is 30, so I am taking away five groups of 6, so I'm left with 0. Since there's nothing left over, I have no remainder, so my answer is 10 plus 5 is 15. So I'm going to write 15 up in this box. My next one, 5 goes into, I'm in my tens place value, so it goes into 8 one time. Again, since this is tens, that's actually a 10. Now I have 5 groups of 10, and I'm starting with 85, so I need to take away 5 groups of 10, which is 50. 5 times 10 is 50. So now I take that away, and I'm left with 35. That is what I have left over to regroup into my ones column. So now I have five groups, and I need to see how many times five goes into 35. Well, that is seven times five, so that will be seven groups. So now I need to take away seven groups of five. Seven times five is 35. 35 minus 35 is zero. So now I add these two together. 10 plus seven is 17, which means 85 divided by five is 17. So here I'm going to start with my box for number 2. So I'm dividing by 2. I am starting out with 78, and I'm seeing how many times 2 can go into my tens place value, which is that 7. 2 can go into 7 three times, but again, since this is my tens place value, that is a 30. So now I need to take away 2 groups of 30, which is 2 times 3 is 60. So I'm left with 18. I regroup that 18 as my 1s because that's what I have left over. So now I figure out how many times can 2 go into 18. Well, I know 2 times 9 is 18, so I can make 9 groups. Now I need to take away 2 groups of 9, which is 18, and I'm left with 0. So my answer is 30 plus 9 is 39. Our next one, here I have my model. I'm starting with 87, so in my tens place value, I'm checking how many times can 3 go into 8. Well, that's 3, 6, 9, 12, so it can go in 6 times. I'm sorry, it can go in 2 times for 6. Again, since this is my tens place value, that's actually a 20. 3 groups of 20 is 60, so I need to take away 60 to see what I have left over. Now I have 27 left over, so I am regrouping them as my 1s. 3 goes into 27 nine times. I know that because 3 times 9 is 27. So now I need to take away 3 groups of 9 and see what I have left over. 3 groups of 9 is 27, and I have 0 left over. So I add them up, and I am left with 29. My right, next one, I have 84 to start out with. I'm breaking up into groups of 2. So I need to figure out how many times 2 can go into my tens place value. 2 can go into 8 four times. Again, since this is my tens place value, that is a 40. 2 times 40 is 80. And I need to take away that 80 and see what I'm left with. I'm left with 4. So now I'm going to check how many times can 2 go into 4. It can go in 2 times. I need to take away 2 groups of 2 and see what I'm left with. 2 groups of 2 is 2 times 4. I'm sorry, is 2 times 2, which is 4. And I subtract, I'm left with no remainder. So my answer is 40 plus 2 is 42. My last one on this page, I make my box. I'm starting with 57, and I'm breaking up by 3. So how many times can 3 go into that tens place value of 5? It can go in once. Again, since I'm in my tens place value, that is a 10 and not a 1. I'm going to take away 3 groups of 10. So that is 3 times 10 is 30, and see what I have left. I have 27 left, so I am regrouping that into my 1's place value. So now I see how many times 3 can go into 27. Well, I know 3 times 9 is 27, so that will be 9 groups. 
So now I need to take away three groups of nine. Three groups of nine is three times nine is 27. And I'm left with zero. So I have no remainder. So I add up my place values of 10 to 9. I'm left with 19. Let's head to our next page. A collection of 24 or 64 stickers is placed equally into four piles. So I'm breaking it up by division. How many stickers are used in each pile? Use the bar diagram to write and solve an equation. So what I have here is I have 64 is my total. That's what I'm starting out with. And I'm breaking it up into one, two, three, four groups. And then what I'm left with is I'm left with this. However, I don't know what that is yet. It is an S, that mystery number, a variable. Remember that S is just like a question mark that we've been using since first grade. So now I'm going to solve my equation. So I have 64 divided by 4. So I start out with my box. And I'm seeing how many times 4 can go into 6 tens. Well, it can go in one time. But then since this is in my tens, I need to make sure I make it a 10. So now I need to take away 4 groups of 10, which is 4 times 10 is 40. And I'm left with 24. So now I regroup that 24 into my 1s. And I see how many times 4 can go into 24. Well, I know that 4 times 6 is 24, so I know it's going to go in 6 times. 6 groups of 4 is 24, so I'm taking that away and seeing what I have left. I have nothing left, so I have no remainder. So my answer is 16. There will be 16 stickers in each pile. So number 11 now. A chef is baking cookies for three parties. For each party, the chef uses the same number of eggs. She has two dozen eggs. A dozen is 12, so that means 2 times 12 is 24. She has 24 eggs. What is the greatest number of eggs the chef can use for each party? Well, if I have 24 eggs, I'm dividing that by 3. So what I do is I know my basic math fact of 3 times 8 is 24. So she can have 8 eggs for each party. My next one is write 11,000. So I go 11 and then that 1,000 is my comma. 212 using base 10 numerals. Then write the number in expanded form. So expanded form, remember, is I'm breaking it up into its place value. So I have 10,000 plus 1,000 plus my next place value is 200 plus my next place value is 10 plus my next place value is 2. Number 13. Amanda wants to put some of her books on four shelves with six books on each shelf and the rest on six shelves with three books on each shelf. Can Amanda explain her books this way? Explain. Well, she has 42 books. So what I'm going to do is Amanda wants to put some of her books on four shelves with six books on each shelf and the rest on six shelves with three books on each shelf. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to guess and check some. So here, I'm going to break this up into group A and this one into group B. So here, I would have four shells with six books. So that is four times six is 24. So she's taking these 24 books and she's putting them on these shelves. So what I have left was that I have 42 minus 24. And that's going to leave me with 18. She wants to put the rest on six shelves with three books each. Well, can I break 18 up into six? Yes, I can because 18 divided by six is three. So here I would have six shelves oops but my shelves are going to be smaller because there's only going to have three books on them one has three books and if i add all these up 
we have 6 times 3 equals 18. If I add them up, I get that 42 books that she had. So my answer is yes, with my model being my explanation. My very last one, 14. Annabelle collected 98 leaves on a walk. She arranged the leaves into seven categories. So that arranging is breaking up into equal groups, that division. Write the numbers in the model in the boxes to complete the partial quotient and complete the equation to find the number of leaves in each category. So here, how many times can seven go into the tens place value? It can go in one time. Since this is my tens, I need to make sure I add that zero. I'm now going to take away seven groups of 10, which is 70. I'm left with 28. So I regroup that 28 into my ones, and then I check how many times can seven go into 28. Well, if I don't know my sevens facts very well, I'm going to do seven times one is seven. Seven times two is 14. Seven times three is 21. 7 times 4 is 28, and look, that's the number I have right here, so that is 4 groups. 4 times 7 is 28, so I'm taking away 7 groups of 4 and seeing what I have left, I'm left with 0. So my answer is 10 plus 4 is 14. So how many leaves will she have in each category? She will have 14 leaves.